All right, all right, all right. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the very first episode of Santa Claus. That's right. This is the brand new Smooth Brain player who won our auditions contest and proved that he is a true creature of science. And of course, this is the very first episode, so we're going to be finding out if his opponent has been naughty or nice. Up here in the top left hand side in the blue, it's Rohan. Now, Santa Claus, uh, from what we've seen, plays a little bit of all the races, does a bit of swapping between them all. But I think the one thing we found in our auditions show, for anyone who didn't catch that, by the way, you can look it up, Smooth Brain Auditions. Uh, we got a lot of submissions from people who said, I'm the next Florencio, I'm the next Boom, look at me here, you know, I would love to have my own show. There was a lot of cool moments. Um, almost everyone had at least one or two really cool moments in their games, cool little strategy twists here or there. But it was mired in a whole lot of normie shit. People were just macroing, getting, you know, they, they weren't toying with their opponents enough. They were going back to rather generic game plans. The thing we found in Santa Claus submission was, I mean, we'd seen Santa Claus do hilarious stuff in Icy Far before. So really, it probably should have occurred to me that Santa Claus would be a good winner. But in that Smooth Brain audition, oh my God. I mean, for those who didn't catch it, Santa Claus eBay blocks his own natural to screw with his opponent's head. Like, like the, the layers of just stupidity in that game uh, were absolutely astounding. It was a pure and deep commitment to science. And, I mean, we're starting off right now with double gas before sporting pool into Evo Chamber. Like, <laughs> this makes no sense. This is possibly the worst build I've ever seen. But it is, it's creative, I guess. Uh, that drone does go down. And Santa Claus is going to get the fastest armor upgrade of all time. The sporting pool, though, is, is not even halfway done. And Santa Claus is going to make Burrow. Okay, so it's going to be Burrow, Carapace. <laughs> but having two casters this early means there's no economy. This is, this is kind of reminding me of, like, early days Florencio with his Zerg, where he'd just be like, I don't build any drones at the start of the game, and I just take gases and, <laughs> and make burrow with almost every strategy. The crazy thing is, even though Santa Claus has done that, Santa Claus has actually kept up drone production a lot more consistently than someone like a Florencio would, um, even though there's no queen. And he's going to move down and look for an expansion. Two Zerglings are on the way. Now, luckily, the opponent is chilling on one base. So this is very good because this gives a potential opportunity for Lings to get over and burrow under the expansions, which... With a burrow build, that's the main utility you get, right? Is getting over there and blocking their shit. Wait, wait, what the... What's this guy doing? Oh, I thought he was going to expand it as natural. Apparently not. Santa Claus is going to work the way across the map with the Zerglings? Okay, and it's going to... Are we proxy hatching here? Why? What? What's that for? Why would you even do that? Why would you take the base next to their main? I guess it's the last place they'll look. <laughs> Carapace... Is finished at three minutes of the game. Is this the fastest upgrades of all time? I've never seen an upgrade even started that early. Like, what? Oh my god. And melee now start. This is crazy. So we're going to have 1-1 one, one upgrades uh, before five minutes in this game. Okay, that's actually insane. Uh, and look at that. One Ling runs up the ramp and dies. The other one, though, burrows in the ground. You can see his little crest sticking out. Of course, uh, Roham won't be able to see that unless it gets detection. And Roham's just chilling on one base right now. So that means this is going to give Santa Claus a lot of time to set up his next level of bullshit. He's pulled off gas now and he's going to start injecting. He's got the lair on the way. A few more Lings coming out. Okay, what, what, what even is this? Like, are we just going to cover the map in burrowed lings, maybe? So one of the cool things is, if you look at the vision of Santa Claus, you can see that the, the Zergling actually has a good little ring of vision around it. So if you put these Zerglings kind of on paths on the map, it's a great way to track where your opponent's moving out and that sort of thing. Now, Roham does a scan and sees a second Evo chamber in a lair and some Zerglings. Doesn't really get too much of an idea of what's going on. Why is there a second Evo? Is this going to be 2-2 immediately? Is this going to be the fastest... Is this 3-3 Adrenal Zerglings? Is that what's being rushed right now? I mean, on one base, that makes no sense at all. But <laughs> I guess it is what it is. Roram slowly moving out with like tanks on the high ground, one Viking to clear overlords. This is the most pansy Terran player I've ever seen in my life. Let's be real. Uh, okay, Overlord goes down. There's a few drones starting to mine from here. 
and a queen pops out so we can get injects as well. Oh, a minivan. Oh, we've got a Zergling minivan loading up. I don't think that's going to do anything though because Roam is is so pinned back, uh, like pen penned in on one base. So he's going to go for a drop, but the tanks are all sieged up covering it. Now Roam tries to drop the expansion. Santa Claus distracting right now. A couple Zerglings running around. The minivan's going to go in the main, but it's going to drop right in tank range. Oh my God, did he just... He's got the tank on the high ground, killing the Zerglings. Scan there. Clears it. Understands how Burrow works. Zerglings in the main base, though. Uh-oh, you got to react, buddy. Ah, a few of them do go down to the siege tanks, but they're getting a few of these Zerglings. Remember, 1-1 one, one is on the way. Plus two Carapaces already started as well. Oh my God, they're actually doing quite a bit of damage for just a couple of Zerglings. They do finally go down at the end of that. Four SCVs, though. Not bad. A little bit of damage. And that Dropper Lord, the minivan, will go down. Sacrifices it because he doesn't want to lure that Viking over there to see this expand. A Spore and a Spine are building here. How random can you get? An Infestation? He's going to go. He's going to go for Hive. Look at that. He, he wants to start plus two melee now. Oh, my God. So this is going to be the best upgraded Zerglings of all time, right? We're going to have 3-3 three, three, maybe by 10 minutes or just after 10 minutes, which is absolutely wild, right? A lot of players don't have 2-2 two, two by then. But... There's going to be like 14 Zerglings with the upgrades. So this is... <laughs> this is kind of like, you know, it's like, it's like it's like Hitler's approach to like World War II. He's like, we're going to make the Tiger tank. We're going to spend a crazy amount of money and resources. It's going to be the best tank ever. It's going to be so sick and big. And they're like, yeah, you realize this costs so much money to produce that we have like 60 of them. <laughs> they have like a thousand, they have like thousands of, of their Sherman tanks and shit. And, and he's like, but our one's bigger. And you're like... Yeah, but we can't actually make that many of them. That's essentially Santa Claus' strategy right now, is I'm going to make the best upgraded Zerglings, but I'm only going to have a handful of them because I've got no economy. But look at this. His expansion's being found. Roham's like, get out of here, you dummy. Look at this. Barracks floating to spot the mineral line. The tank sees you. This is really creative for Roham. What Roham hasn't counted for is that Santa Claus is a friggin' genius. And he's like, oh, I know how to counter this. I make reactive swarm hosts. He's going to move the spore to deal with the lib. The locusts are going to kill the two siege tanks. You're kidding me. Oh, my God. And the spore's going to take that out, right? That spore's in range. Yep. Oh, my God. He's even going to get the depot there as well. Uh, at the natural, an overlord does go down again. I mean, these overlords going down is definitely hurting Santa Claus. It's 26 SCVs versus 28 drones. Uh, you can tell that both players are playing at a blistering pace right now of 78 APM for the Terran, 99 for Santa Claus. Both of these exceptionally high, high level players. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure they they ingest. They, they're, they're both, no doubt, I'm pretty sure Santa Claus and Roham here are both the sort of players who have at least a couple of beers before they ladder. Like you look at their, their profile, you're like, oh yeah, all of your games are played between 2 and 6 a.m. after you come home from a night drinking. Like these are, this is not your Oh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's 5 p.m. Work just finished. Let's queue some ladder games. No, -uh -uh, not at all. I think you can tell that these guys are uh, definitely playing a little bit late, lacedonically. Is that a word? I've never said that one out loud. Oh, oh tried a new word. Lacedonically. Did I say it correctly? Let me know in the YouTube comments and correct me as you guys love to do. Um, <laughs> just keep in mind, I'll probably miss say it the next time as well. Uh, what can I say, guys? Uh, for those of you who've been watching for a while, you know my hobbies include reading thesauruses and dictionaries. It's pretty exciting. Uh, unfortunately, I misread them, so I pronounce the words wrong anyway. Uh, Overlords, what is this push? Two Vikings, six Hellions, and a pack of Marines are going to counter for She's like, okay, I'll let you take that base, but I'll, you know, I'll counterattack you, and this is genius. Because guess what? There's nothing to defend. Oh, I've got two, two upgrades. By the way, guess how many Zerglings he's built this game? 14. He doesn't have any more. But Santa Claus sees him coming, so he's going to abandon the drones and put the queens on the ramp to block. Build some Zerglings, mate! You're going to build some units, buddy. The Marines and Hellions. Oh my god, Hellbats as well. I get a bus. He's trying to make a greater spy. He wants 3-3 three, three Brutus. Make units! you got to make units or you're going to die, Santa Claus! <laughs> His queens are getting burnt down. Santa Claus is still reacting with absolutely nothing. He now decides to burrow all of his drones. He's like, kids, into the bunker. Get into the safe room. Rohan, though, Hellbats have splash damage. They're going to kill the drones with the splash, potentially. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Some of the drones got hit. Oh, he's going to wait, unburrow some drones? Why did he do that? Why is he unburrowing drones? Santa Claus, what are you doing? Is he trying to show him? 
He's unbar. He's letting his drones die. Wait, wait, no, no, no. He's trying to distract. He's trying to buy time so he can start his greatest fire. He so desperately wants to start his greatest fire. And oh, he does keep the hive alive for long enough to get an ultra cavern started. That's what he was doing. He actually sacrificed the drones there a few at a time just to distract so that the hive could finish and he could start an ultra cavern. That way he, he realized that he was in big trouble there. Rather than building any zerglings or anything, he's like, no, 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 just get the ultra cavern down. And he does get it down, but he's lost so many drones, 30 drones have gone down for Santa Claus, but he's got a, a Locust Siege going on. By the way, Locusts do not get upgrades from those melee upgrades. They do get the Carapace, and they are killing a ton of stuff. Oh my god, even that Thor? No way, dude! Oh, Roham, you gotta pull back from this ledge, buddy. You gotta pull way back from here. <laughs> this is- that was really bad. Um, Roham has a much bigger economy right now. He's very slowly killing Overlords with a Liberator, which is gonna take effing forever. Um, he's only got two factories and a starport, though, so the complete lack of production is his biggest problem. If he can get enough Hellions out, he'll be good. Uh, Santa Claus realizes there's not much anti here, so he, of course, does a genius tech switch into a single, a single Mutalisk. Seems kind of quiet, the game. But, no, 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 I think that's normal, actually. It's fine. Muta is hitting the barracks there. Oh, my God. Get out! Get out! Get out! Oh my god, Lenny the Mutalist does uh, sneak over that way. And, uh, oh, Overlord pulling back here as well. Oh, 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 okay. Overlord's barely surviving right now. He's, he's letting that one tank so the Reddit point ones don't die. Transfuse, maybe? He's microing the Overlord, is Santa Claus. Oh my god, he's trying to split the attacks up. He loses one there. Uh oh, another Overlord. Looks like it might be going down. Meanwhile, the Hellbats have killed the main. They were doing the natural as well. Liberator's going to deny some of this. Can the Thor reach that? If the Thor can hit that, uh, might be uh, able to clean it up. Liberator's going to pull back for now. The Hellbat actually doing a good job. And, and the Viking Thor gunning down these Locusts before they land. So this is actually turning into a hard position because Santa Claus has an Ultra Cavern, but it has piss all money right now. Uh, a lot of those drones aren't mining as well. This base will go down eventually uh, when Roham stops F2ing the units away. Roham's taking a third. Roham's on double the work account. Widow Mines and Thors are being built. We've got Liberators as well. Uh, is slowly going to add some vehicle weapon upgrades as well. These Widow Mines are pretty good at clearing Locust Waves, but the Locusts kind of spread out, so quite a few of them do survive. Oh, a few Widow Mines going down there, and actually that tank on the low ground looking mighty, mighty fine does go down as well. A few SCVs falling... These Locust Siege is doing really well. A single Ultra with 2-2 two, two upgrades is going to build here for Santa Claus, who still is only mining with 10 workers on minerals and 3 on gas. 13 workers mining right now. He's got 5 idle. Zerglings are looking for expansions right now. Roham's just like, here we go, I've got my Thors and my Hellbats, maybe I should build one factory. If Roham could just queue up like 20 Hellbats right now with, with all that minerals, which there's enough minerals for 25 Hellbats. 25 Hellbats kills everything. That Santa Claus has, and oh no, you need to save those Locusts for the defense. You're about to get overwhelmed, Santa Claus. Those Hellbats might roast this pretty quickly. The Locusts do land, though, and they've got a lot of damage. Oh, the Hellbats going down. Only the Thor's standing strong. But that being said, what's left? An Ultra. If the Liberators all siege on this base, if he can kill Santa Claus' drone, Santa Claus is dead. Roham sieges on the ground. In front. What? Okay, as long as the Ultra doesn't run in there, Santa Claus is okay. No! Don't run into the limb zone! <laughs> Santa Claus! Oh my god, he's gonna try and run around with the Ultra List because a triple lib zone, dude, as you saw, that got the Ultra to half life instantly. A Ling Ultra counter attack goes in, and oh my god, the wall's not raised. Uh oh, oh no, 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 no. Oh man, I, I still feel like one Liberator could just like deny all the mining and kill everything there. Um, the production, the, the add ons keep getting killed by Ro for Roham. That's, that's one of those big problems. His whole natural mineral line's going down. Oh, wait, 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 he sieges the Liberators in the wrong spot, but actually the Thor's gonna go down. Ling's in the main, they run away from the Liberator Zones. SCVs, get out of there, boys! Oh, they're not mineral walking, they're getting stuck, they're getting stuck. Okay, the Thor in the tank should be able to clean this up steadily now as they move up here. The Liberator's trying to pull on backwards. Widow Mine's trying to unburrow as well. Oh, look at this, those Zerglings are burrowing in the main to come out later, and he's gonna target the turret and burrow over there if he can as well. Very clever from Santa Claus. He's being what we call a cheeky dickhead. He gets the turret, that goes down. But Roham, I don't think he saw the burrow, so if he sends those workers back, he could be in trouble.
Widow Mines do take out a Swarm Host there. Santa Claus has not re-expanded. He's thinking about it, but he's so broke that he, he can't really do it right now. Now, as this next attack comes, he's got no anti-air, guys. He's got a couple of spores, and he's got one muter. He's trying to build a queen. He's going to throw Locust one more time. Uh-oh. Oh, right on top of the siege tanks. Oh, no. Roam taking massive damage. Three tanks and a Thor. His entire army is toast. Oh, Roham, you've got it. And Roham just leaves. Roham just leaves. <laughs> Roham's winning this game. I mean, I get it. You lost your whole army. That's frustrating. But you've got 3k minerals in the bank. But it's just could not handle the Zerglings in the back door, the Locusts in the front door. And I love it. I don't think Santa Claus was planning to do Swarm Host. I really feel it was the clever tank barrack siege from the high ground from Roham. And Santa Claus was like, well, fuck going Zerglings. Let's make Swarmos. They can shoot up a cliff. <laughs> and the Swarmos end up basically winning the game. I mean, the upgrades did very little. It was like one Ling backstab did a lot of damage. Um, but that is that is what nonsense is all about. It's what science is all about. And uh, oh, oh, trying to one-up Florencio. When his opponent leaves, doesn't just kill his opponent's stuff. He also kills his own. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this very first episode of Santa Claus. Thank you very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one. More, many, many more to come. Goodbye and good night.